Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Lunatic Mod! So, it's been a couple of weeks since my last episode of this series, so to fill everyone in that's new, before we continue into episode 9, let me give you guys a quick recap of what this mod is and why I'm playing it. So, essentially what this mod is, is it's a mod that forces you to somewhat speed run the game, because what happens in this mod is, an apocalypse will begin if time runs out. So what you have to do is you have to beat as many bosses as possible within that time, give over their boss masks and increase your time and prevent the apocalypse. So I did eight episodes of this and then I put it on pause for a little bit. And to be honest, it's funny because I never actually thought the series was doing well. Like when it first went out, the views on it were all kind of messed up. And that's because YouTube was going through some changes then. And then if you look back now, it looks like a series that's doing really, really well. It honestly confused the, the hell out of me. But I put it on a little break, but it's back now. And I'm just going to jump way into this. Like, we're just going to go straight into, you know, continuing off, uh, you know, where we left off. So, in the last episode, we lost to the Destroyer because we couldn't kill it fast enough. But we beat the Twins. And that's where we are. So, what I'm going to do now is... I'm going to start farming for some Souls of Light because I really need the Daedalus Stormbow because if you guys saw the last episode, we lost to the Destroyer, not because I died, but because I didn't have time to actually beat it because I wasn't doing enough damage. So I'm going to get the Daedalus Stormbow if I can and try and mix that with, um, I'm going to try and mix it with some, uh, what, are the, what are the corruption arrows called? You guys probably know, but you know the arrows that you get from the corruption that are also piercing, but are not as good as jester arrows? I'm going to use them, because I don't have time to look for fallen stars if I'm also going to be doing this. And then a lot of people suggested, because I died to it, well, you know, we lost to it, because I couldn't beat it. Um, a lot of people suggested that instead, what I should do is change class to mage. I somewhat agree with that, I really do. But the only problem is, is our accessories so far are pretty neutral and um, and it would require, if I went to mage, I'd have to do a few extra things when it came to uh, making potions. Like I'd have to constantly make sure I've got, you know, deathweed and moonglow. And I don't think I've got time for that yet. And it would also mean mining a bit more and making decent weapons. But if I was to do it, I would probably go, because I, I got my, uh, you know, I got my twins kill in. I'd probably go immediately to the uh, to the harp to do it because the harp is a piercing weapon and that would work out pretty well. Now, I see some NPCs are coming back. I'm hoping that they haven't filled up all of our houses and I'm beginning to think they might have done because I really need my uh, my cultist to come back in because he got killed by the uh, the pirate invasion. Okay, get rid of this guy. Get you, you're speedy. You are really, really speedy. So I do need to go and kill some NPCs maybe to... Uh, to, you know, to, to get my uh, to get my NPC back, but for now we have uh, we've got everything in motion. I'm going to be farming souls of light before we do the uh, the hallow chest. So I'll do a little jump cut now, guys. I'll get my uh, souls of light. I'm also going to get the stuff I need for a boss fight, as in like the souls of light needed for a boss fight. I think it's only five. So uh, I'll farm these out, and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so I've been noticing these shakes. On the screen, I'm not too sure what's causing that. Um, you now have to use Hamster's Helper with this mod. And I don't know if that's causing it, or I'm getting close to the corruption. I'm like, the corruption, the apocalypse. I'm really unsure what's happening. I remember us having a good amount of time, but that's the second one I've seen in like 10 minutes. So, I'm a little bit confused, and I'm scared, admittedly. Because I don't want to trigger it. But I wonder if, because I took a break, and it's maybe updated over time. I wonder if maybe I've, uh... I've messed something up, but maybe it's time to go and uh, to make room for an NPC house. Because if oh, they are we already had one. Okay, well that's fine. All right, I'm very worried about time though. I'm gonna get. Does this count as an NPC house? Let's see. Okay, this one's suitable. Right, guys, I will be back soon with my souls of light, but I've got to do some more farming now. Oh, right, guys. So I've actually found a hollow mimic just naturally. Oh God, it's actually really really strong. Um, I found one naturally. I was just like fighting away against a group of enemies and I was like, oh right. I was like, that mechanical sound, that's not a, a normal mimic, that's a, a hallowed mimic. Okay, so I've got to focus on killing it because if I can get one for free, that's going to speed things up a bit. But I may need to take out that archer below. Okay, archer, please get gone. Oh, and get me out of these cobwebs as well. 
Okay, let's see what I can do against this thing. I haven't uh, ever like learnt their uh, their AI before, so I'm not necessarily great at fighting these. But we'll see. I've taken a good chunk of damage. It's taken a great chunk of damage off me. It's because I wasn't expecting it. Oh god, those vibrations are back. I'm really not sure what's going on with them. They seem really, really terrifying. Okay. Okay, I can heal up. Awesome. Okay, I'm doing my best to try and circle it, just to try and maybe, hopefully, you know, kill it. Okay, Bat, get out of here. Get out of here, Bat. Okay. It's still going fine. Still going fine. It's still coming after us. Right, it's getting quite fast now. I'm still doing it. I've got a few hundred arrows left. Wow, it really does increase in speed, doesn't it? Oh my god, it like arches it jump up to get you. That's kind of cool. Right, like I say, I've not actually ever fought many of these, admittedly. I never usually seem to get worlds that have a lot of hallowed in them. I usually get worlds where I spend most of my time in the corruption. I'm one hit from death. God damn. <laughs> right, well at least we know that I need to get some potions if I want to farm those out. Okay, good, good life lesson. Alright guys, so I have all of my things for a light key. So, we're gonna give this a go. I've made, uh, I've got iron skin, archery, and, uh, and regen, I believe. Actually, I may need to go get another archery. Let's see, am I archery in here? Uh, yeah. No, that's hunter. Alright, I don't have archery. Ah, I got confused. It's danger sense. Never mind. Okay, so we're off to the corruption. Now, I can't remember, admittedly, if you actually have to, um, if you have to do this underground or on top of the hallowed? I can't remember, so we'll see. I guess it'd be better if I can do it on top, because then I can, uh, then I can fend off a little bit better. Let's see, is that occupied? Right, these are all occupied. I could honestly do with just killing off an NPC or two, though, just so I know that I'll get my cultist. Alright, we'll see. Oh, the, the background's not a good colour! Alright, okay, this is not good. I don't like the way this is heading. This is not good. Alright, um, uh, let's see. Okay, buff up. Right, okay, you can do it on top. That's awesome. Alright, let's see what I can do here. I'm going to use, uh, I guess I should use some of these first. Oh yeah, forget that it stops for a little while, doesn't it? But I'm guessing it just gets faster. Because I don't have an expert uh, shield of Cthulhu here, like, I'm used to, like, dashing everywhere for, like, bosses like this. It's kind of weird to not be able to do that. There we go. These are the, what are they called? Um, holy arrows, that's it. Are they called unholy arrows? There you go. Okay. Whoa, okay. Oh my god. Alright. This is gonna be fine. I like the way it moves. It's kind of nice. Like, I know it's weird that I've not fought many of these, even though I've been playing 1.3 for like two years. I just... I've, I've never really, like, prioritized farming them out before, if I'm honest. Like, I've never gone, oh, I'll, I'll definitely go get this weapon from it to do this one thing. Because I've been doing class playthroughs and modded playthroughs for like the past year, so... I've not really needed to do it. That's why. I mean, it is a bit odd. Okay. There we go. Right. Flying knife. I'll take the flying knife. Flying knife is decent. Is it still decent? I wonder if it's been buffed or debuffed. But I've, I've used this before against a destroyer, and I think I could do it again. It is actually pretty good. I mean, you can do a lot of damage with this. But it's just like angling it the right way. What is it? It's a melee weapon as well, so it'd help if I actually had a melee helmet. So if I found out for a melee helmet, I could actually use all of this to uh, to do it with. I may actually do that. Yeah. Maybe? Should I do that? It would save time. And I mean, look at that. Like, the apocalypse is clearly, like, trying to start something, isn't it? What's that? Right, it's my rail. Oh my god. I'm so worried about this now. Because look at it. It doesn't look good, does it? And this must be, like, a way of warning you. But I really need to kill an NPC off. Just to get an extra room. Or unless I just build one real quick. I'm just going to build build one. I'm just going to build one. Let's see. And then I've got to get all my stuff ready for another boss fight before the night time. Okay, let's just build one. Um, Put one of these down. One of these down. And a door. Alright, so the shaking has got more intense in the game. The background looks really, really scary. I have uh, a boss summon. I also have a melee mask. So I'm going to give this a go. I mean, you know, what can we lose here? We are clearly running out of time. So buff up and then we'll flying knife this thing. Like I say, I've done this before and it did work. So we'll see if it works again. 
in a in this version of the game. I mean, it was a few updates ago I tried this, but already it seems to be doing a lot better. I mean, it's not taking care of the uh, the little minions, obviously, but in, in terms of like pure damage, this is like much much better. Okay, all right. Fighting off those little probes is going to be a real pain, though. But, you know, if you can drag this around, I mean, it's not very accurate, but if you can drag it around, this is actually really, really good for it, I think, personally. All right, okay. All right, I should probably use my, uh, my little, you know, yo-yo to, uh, to get rid of some of these guys and see if I can get some, uh, health, maybe this, actually, instead. I'm kind of hoping it kills off some NPCs, because I really need my NPC back, but it won't give me it. <laughs> like, I've made houses, and I've made more houses, and my NPC won't come back. I wonder if, uh, I hope the mod hasn't changed, Do you know, where it's like, uh, it doesn't even use the cultist anymore and I'm just crazy. Or maybe I need a new boss mask to, uh, to get it to come back. I don't know. It's been a while. Oh, that was a good, that was a good line, that. That was good. Ugh. That was a good flying knife shot. Am I right? Okay. Drag it along the body. See, it is, it is kind of dangerous fighting with this because you're not killing the probes in the slightest, but you are getting, like... Good piercing, to be honest. I mean, this is a good alternative than farming another day for uh, all the souls of light. And then you may not even get it. You know, the Daedalus Stormbow? That's why I never did it originally, well, to be honest. Like, it just takes time that we don't necessarily have. Alright, I need to heal up and start shooting away with some arrows. Okay, I've got good amount of time now. Arrows still don't do the job. Can you, you can't set the destroyer on fire, can you? I think that's one thing, yeah, you can't you can't do debuffs to the destroyer. Which makes sense really. I mean they already make this one easy enough to be honest. Especially because piercing just wrecks it, do you know what I mean? Okay, this is going good. Okay, I need to get out the middle of it, get out the crossfire. Okay, I'm still feeling these vibrations. You can see them, they shake like the uh, the overhaul mod, which is kinda cool. Okay. Alright, we're still doing good about halfway now. Alright, I do need to take some time to kill some probes. So hopefully they can all line up so I can destroy a bunch of them at once. Okay. Uh, these are getting destroyed pretty quick. Nice. This is so hard to control though, this flying knife. It really is. Like, it really just does what it wants. You have to really arc it in a way that's like really unnatural in the game. It's kind of funny actually. Okay, drag it down its body. Oh, no, the head's there. Okay, thank god this isn't expert mode because I'd be long dead by now. Because I've been hit by the head so many times and that does 200 damage straight up in expert mode. Okay. Alright, this is good. I'm getting hearts here. Okay, and I'm managing to drag this thing around. I can heal up, which is great. I've only got regen and iron skin, by the way, guys. That's why I'm not doing this super quick. I haven't got any kind of other buffs like endurance or rage or wrath or life force. You know, some of the ones I'd use in my modded series are that, but because this is normal mode, I think we can get away with this. Okay, keep dragging this along. Keep dragging it along. We've got a few more minutes left on the fight. Just going to keep dragging this knife along its body. Okay, cool. We're doing good. Probably kill off some probes for a little bit of health. Okay, where's it at? Okay, keep slicing it. Alright, this is going well. Okay, awesome. Keep dragging the flying knife around. There we go. Awesome. Okay, so that's another boss done. That's another mask, right? So, we've got some stuff. So, hopefully in the morning, my lunatic cultist shall arrive. That's what I'm really, really hoping for. And we can progress onwards. But now, it's a case of doing... Um, Skeletron Prime and that kind of means that I need a few extra souls of light So I do need to go and farm some of them out and then I think I'm good for souls of sight But I'm not too sure what uh, I want to actually use against Skeletron Prime because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Face off against Skeletron Prime and then we're gonna use all the materials to make uh, a pickaxe Then we're gonna go farm for Chlorophyte and then with Chlorophyte we're gonna uh you know, see what kind of happens. I need to hand this in. <laughs> I was going to wear this as a vanity, but then I remembered, yeah, you actually have to hand this in. So, for now, we are going to go and do, uh, we're going to do some farming, and hopefully, just hopefully, we will get our, uh, our sweet, sweet, 
Skeletron Prime show up because well not show up our cultists show up because we really really need him to uh to come along okay all right so i'll do a little jump cut and i'll see you guys when the cultist has arrived and we'll extend our time and find out how much we've got left all right so our lunatic has finally arrived and i'm so glad because the screen was shaking like every like two minutes like while i was off camera it was shaking a lot so i can finally go and give these in and see what happens so give boss mask Whew. A genuine twins mask. Much thanks. I wonder what became of the larger things these were supposed to be a part of. I require eight more masks. A genuine destroyer mask. Mask. Much thanks. Do you have any idea how much assembly these... R thanks for the mask. Right, okay. Shop. Awesome. How much time do we have left then? I can't remember how you check it. There is a way to check it. Oh, wow. You can actually... Yeah, you can buy all the buffs. Oh, do you know what? I completely forgot about this, dude. What? How much time? Oh, there we go. Days remaining, five. <laughs> Good one, but seriously, you do have a mask, don't you, please? The machine playing copycat to our, our guard dog must have one. Right, okay, so here's my plan. I'm going to crank out the Destroyer and then Plantera. So this is the thing. So like, I'm going to beat Destroyer, and I want to maybe try and do it with a yo-yo, if I can get myself a yo-yo bag. So I'll do that with a yo-yo, because that'll be really easy for one of them. And then Plantera is the exact same in normal mode. You can pop out Gollum real easy, and then it's a case of between here, you're going to have to make Chlorophyte. And then I'll do Lunatic Cultist next. I'll do the Solar pa uh, the Pillar, the Solar Pillar, get the fragments I need. Oh, oh, that's cool. I never knew you could do that. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I'm going to kill the Solar Pillar, get my uh, melee stuff, and then crank out this, essentially, and crank out a bunch of these, and then it's down to Moon Lord. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back, do Duke Fishron and the events, because Duke Fishron's really hard, I think. At least it still is in normal mode. So I'd rather do this when I'm over-prepared, because it's not about the sequence in which you do them, it's just about how fast you get them. So does that sound like it makes sense? That's what I want to do. But I'm going to save that all for tomorrow. So thank you for watching episode 9. I appreciate all the support while I've been gone. I'll be uh, sure to keep these really regular now. Uh, now that I've got like this big chunk of free time left. So thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.